Hi everyone, this is Brittany with Made for Math. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to be teaching a short lesson on how to use the distributive property with simplifying algebraic expressions. So before we begin, here at Made for Math, we like to break down the meaning of words. And so if we look at the word, the distributive property, distributive comes from the word distribute. And when we think about the word distribute, distribute means to deal out in shares. So I often think about the distributive property or I think about the word distribute when I think about distributors. So for example, companies who deliver packages or distribute packages to their clients or to their um, to the consumer. So when we're thinking about the distributive property in terms of math, it's really the same thing in that we are going to distribute a term or a quantity that is outside the parentheses to a quantity that's inside the parentheses. So for example, if I have a simple algebraic expression, such as this one, what this means, first of all, you need to be um, familiar with the notation here and that when we have a constant or a quantity outside the parentheses, that's signifying multiplication. So this really means I have two groups of x plus three. So what does this look like? Well, one group of x plus three would look like this. However, this two out, out here, he's like the distributor. And he is going to tell how many he needs. So this guy, he's saying, I need two groups of X and I need two groups of three. Well, right now I only have one group of X and one group of three. So essentially what that means is I need to double this quantity. So now we can see we have one group and then we have another group over here. How does this look algebraically? Well, when we distribute that two to what's inside the parentheses, I want two groups of X or two times X plus two groups of three or two times three. Okay. And then we can actually rearrange this to where we can see how much do we have all together? Well, we have two X's and I put this in a pattern. I can see it a little bit better without counting. I have two X and I have positive six. So my simplified algebraic expression is two X plus six. Okay, so now I'm gonna just do one more example of what this looks like. So what if we have three times X minus five. So remember this guy, he's the distributor. He tells you how many we need. He's telling us that we need three groups of X minus five. So let's build it using our algebra tiles.
okay? There's one group, but I need three groups of x minus 5. One, two, three. And I can circle my groups or separate them. Okay. So now, what does it look like we, when we rearrange and combine our like terms here? Well, remember this guy said I need three groups of x and I need three groups of negative five. So when we rearrange, we put our like terms together. And now that we have these in patterns, it's really easy to see how many we have. Three groups of negative five and three groups of X. So that's three times X plus three times negative five. So I have 3x plus negative 15, or we also know that we can write this algebraically. This is the same as adding a negative quantity. Quantity is the same as subtracting 3x minus 15. So there you go. So thanks for checking out this video. If you are interested in learning more about multisensory math instruction or are interested in looking into lessons for your child, please check out our website, www.madeformath.com. Thanks again.